Friars All Access is brought to you by Dexter Credit Union. For your family's home financing, trust the Dexter family. Borrow from a lender you can trust. Dexter Credit Union. Visit DexterCU.org. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Friars All Access, an inside look at the Providence College men's basketball program. I'm Christina Acra. For the next eight weeks, head coach Keno Davis and I are going to take you through it all, the behind-the-scenes details. We're going to meet the players, go to practice, go on the road, get all of the details, and, of course, the man with all the details, head coach Keno Davis. Thanks for joining us. It's so great to have you on the show. Oh, it's great to be here. All right, let's start at the beginning of a season, which has been considered kind of a rebuilding year. Uh, back in September, nine freshmen, three seniors. How have you been able to get them to be a cohesive group so far? Well, I think you have to give a lot of credit to the seniors uh, that we have, Ray Hall, uh, Marshawn Brooks, um, you know, at the top of the list to be able to take the younger guys and, and explain, you know, what they went through and how they were able to be successful. And I think the young guys have brought in an enthusiasm and also an attitude that's been infectious to the rest of the team. And that enthusiasm and attitude got them an 11 and 2 start right out of the gate. Were you surprised at the success right off the bat? A little bit. You know, I had hoped that we'd be able to get double digit wins uh, in the non conference, which we were able to do. But more so, I was, I was impressed with our attitude of our guys how hard they would play and I think as fans as a coach when you see that you know that with a young team and and with some you know necessary for us to add some talent some extra talent as well that you're gonna go through some growing pains but when you see that kind of attitude out there you know there's uh, good things on the horizon despite an 0-4 conference record uh, these guys have been able to stay in some of these big games against top five ranked opponents and you've discussed before the effort that you're happy with uh, what is it going to take to just finish out full 40 minutes and get a win well I think first you have to be able to be there I think when you see a team building uh, you know to become a top 10 top 20 team in the country the first thing is to be able to compete against those teams and we've been able to do that you know playing Pittsburgh playing Syracuse down to the wire now to get over the hump I think you need to continue to focus on what got you there and that's your attitude your effort and now your execution comes into play but you know, I think we've got uh, the good basis uh, for success in the future. All right, tell me a little about the, just the gel of the team so far through the fall, um, how they've come together so far as a team, these guys. Well, I think what you're trying to do, is you're trying to learn your role, you know, on the court and when are you supposed to shoot, when are you supposed to pass, how are you, how are you supposed to play defense uh, within the confines of what the coaches give you. And you continue to each day take that to the court and learn from it. Uh, we've seen great improvement from, you know, our team, but also from individuals as well. And uh, I think that makes our fans really excited about the future. Catch Friars All Access on Cox Sports Wednesdays at 6 p.m. and Sundays at 10.30 a.m. Catch it on demand, channel 1648, anytime.